Okay, so today we're going to be looking at replacing something within a string. Um, in our example, we've got a string of old string. Our, our, our whole string is old string. We're actually going to want to replace the word old. And we're going to replace this with the word new to show that we've got a new string. But how do we go about changing that? Well, we use a function called replace. So what we do is we pass in the string that we want uh, to actually search through to replace something, such as old string. We then pass for another parameter a string of what the word is. In our example, it's old. And then we actually pass through another parameter, which is new. So we're actually going to be here replacing old with new. So we're expecting the return of new string. So how does this work in Power Automate then? Well, let's actually have a look. So in Power Automate, we've got a manual trigger. We're initializing a variable. It has a name of example string. It's a string type and it's, um, it's got a value of old string just as what we've seen uh, previously. And then we're using the replace function. So the replace function is just what we've talked about. We're actually passing through the variable uh, example string. So we're passing through the old string value. We're then targeting the word old and then we are replacing it with the word new. So let's actually see this run through then. So let me just test this, uh, hit test and run this flow. So what we're expecting now is Compose to return an old string. So if we just look here, we've got our value of old string and then we've got our new string value, um, which old has been replaced with new. So that's actually how you do the replacement for the string. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.